was the most deserved one. Um, and uh, I think at the moment, I think more than defeats is performance we've got to talk about because the wins only come with performance. And uh, in terms of performance, that was the most disappointing one because we were well beaten. And, um, you know, in the basics of football, again, it's a, it's a really good uh, Brighton team, so we must give them a lot of credit because they, they're a fantastic team and they can perform like that pretty much against anyone in the league. But we were short, a yard short, a tackle short, you know, a fighting dual moment short. And when that's not right, then you're not going to win games. And you have to have the capacity to do that as well, as well as the desire. And at the minute, we're falling short on that. I mean, we need to turn that around quickly. Sam? Where's that coming from, Frank? You, you spoke yesterday about intensity and, and aggression and, and it's just a sort of nerve mindset. No, and it's, I don't think it's for me to talk about where it's come from. It's for me to try and get to the bottom of it quickly and change it. You know, we haven't got training time. And I feel like we need training time, but we don't have training time. So um, response has to be what you see on the pitch, particularly Tuesday coming. You know, maybe after Tuesday we have a little breather before Brentford. But you know, like for what the things that you that are a must in a performance for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge against Brian, who can play, uh, uh, is that sprints and recovery runs and getting up to people and recovering, and then when you get the ball to, to stick to ideas that you want to stick to. And we come away from that today, and the capacity wasn't there today, so. It's one for me to really get into because it's my it's my job to I'm here for this period. It's my job to get as as many or as much improvement as I can. But from that performance there today, we certainly have work to do. Neil. Uh, same question, first of all. Uh, it was not clear as to why you started last night. Ruben was cheap. Ruben, back. Yeah, go through the mood you want to play. Sorry? Uh, out of the squad. Um, ah, listen, it's a it's a it's a, rele it's a relevant stat because it's football, and if you're going to turn over the ball, then uh, it seems good in transition, especially in your own half, are going to going to punish you for that. It's fine. So, um, I'm not sure there's an answer for it. You know, turning over the ball is a hard one as a coach because you know no, nobody means to turn over the ball, um, but if you make mistakes like that, you get punished. Result. A uh, hard one to to divide it up, I think, because uh, for each individual there'll be you know different elements to it. I think so, but I think what you know physical is work, and I think you know to to be a, a top team or to have ambitions to be a top team. There's no doubt that you have to be towards the top of the physical numbers in the league, you know. So we have to aspire to do that, and that's an individual thing and then a collective thing. And the mental thing, yeah, you know, we have to be there to support the players, you know, because I'm I'm in it now with, with them, so it's it's my responsibility as well. Um, so that's probably one individually to go around the group because a, a collective strong group only comes through the individuals amongst it. You know, that's that's been the history of this club for 20 years. Um, and for whatever reason, there can be some probably um, mi mitigating factors at the moment with some of the change, but it can't be an excuse. It just has to be a factor you fight against to get to somewhere you want to be. And um, you know, from today's performance, it's clear. You know, I'm not going to dress today's performance up. I don't think the players would want me to, and I'm not hanging anyone out to dry because I, you know, I can see that there's talent in that room. This is the Premier League, so you have to have the extra bits. And we were short of those today. Hopper. Oh, and again, I, I, don't, I think we're careful with this character one because it's like questioning a person's character or a player's character. There can be many reasons why a player is not performing at the, the limit, you know, for whatever reason. So I think those ones are always constants, you know. So I think that's a constant, whether it's now, because what we want now is to get a result on Tuesday and then against Brentford and those things. So we have to work on it now and then build towards having a, a team that all of a sudden you know, it's full of character. I mean, what does that mean? There's so much to that. So. 
you know, I think from my point of view, I, I, only today I can be honest. I can only I can only be honest. I can't sit here and go, no, not a bad game. We didn't deserve to lose. I can't can't say that. And the, I don't think the players would even expect anything else because I know I can see their faces after the game. The only thing now that matters is the reaction, and that's what matters now to the end of the season. The reaction to try and get improvement, and, and who knows what that looks like? Because I say people can talk about three losses. I'm, I'm thinking about performance, and then wins will come. And today, performance wasn't worthy of the win. Okay, two more, and then we'll do a Monday. So we're going to do Simon Johnson and Jerry to finish. Simon. It, it might be the case, but I think the fact is that, yeah, I think it probably feels useless to hark back to the team that I played in because it's been there and done it. But I, under, I understand your point, but I think many, many uh, a, a top football club, and we are, you know, the last 20 years are as successful as anyone pretty much, um, I think have moments where that fear factor drops through performance. You know, it might be off the top of my head, Liverpool a few years ago and they pulled it back after that and came again. But those moments where teams get a bit of a run of confidence against you. And the, on, the only way to fight that, Simon, is to, is to just look, in, look within yourself, you know, look within yourself to try and firstly become a team that's not nice to play against. And I think that, again, when I come, brings me back to the physical capacity of the team and, and the contact level of the team because, you know, I, I, I would like to see more contact, I mean in a bad way, but more contact today. But when you're short, it's hard to make contact and that can flip through the team. So I think there are a lot of things and whether, whether teams are less fearful, then if they are, then that should be a carrot for us to try and turn it around to the point where they, they do feel that again. Last question, Jerry. Frank, the fans' morale seems to be slipping away week by week. If you've got to get them up to that game on Tuesday, mm. I, I, well, I, I'm not here to do that in a minute. Because I know what you mean, but I, what matters is what we'll deliver on the pitch because I don't, I don't think what I say will make the fans come and be anything else than what they normally are on a Champions League night when Real Madrid's there and it's an opportunity to try and turn something around. So, the, the, the word, my, in my words, you know, I don't want to go, you know, please come and support us positively. I know they'll do that, but we have to play with that energy and fight. That they, that's like the bare minimum. Um, to do, and of course, an organisation against Real Madrid are a top team, but that's up to us. It's up to us. Nothing, nothing's on the fans with this one. It's, on, it's up to us as a squad in terms of the game on Tuesday. Okay, we'll leave it there.